So this is the speech by Marie from the GEV Berlin board. Dear colleagues, the problems in the UK's education system are somewhat familiar to us. Schools are groaning under staff shortages, large school classes, and under a huge workload for employees. Wages in the education sector have fallen by 20% since 2010. The National Education Union is fighting against these conditions. In 2022-23, teachers and teaching assistants mobilized several times for major strikes to fight for higher wages. This was not only about maintaining real wages in the face of sharp price increases, but also proper funding for schools. The government is constantly trying to have better wages for teachers paid out of school budgets. In doing so, they want to drive a wedge between teachers and pupils. The British Education Union, NEU, strongly rejects such attempts at division. In 2022-23, our British colleagues succeeded in winning over parents and pupils in favor of their demands. Save our schools, pay up. These demands of the NEU are not contradictory, but mutually dependent. Good schools can only be run with good working conditions for teaching staff. NEU achieved partial success in autumn 2023. As German Education Union, we stand in solidarity with our partner union in the UK. We have the same problems here as our colleagues there. Austerity policies and privatization have destroyed the learning and working conditions in schools here and there. And just like in the UK, we trade unionists in Germany are also threatened by attacks on the right to strike. How well we know the demand that has already been implemented in the UK. Minimum staffing levels should be maintained in education and other areas of basic services. This is intended to dramatically weaken strikes. Because if a strike does not have a strong effect, it will remain toothless. A weak strike at schools would then only prolong the daily misery of cancelled lessons. Instead, we need effective, strong strike movements that unite the various professional groups in the education system and beyond in their common struggle. When we strike at schools in Berlin, and we have often done so in recent years, we also hear the demand that a minimum staffing level must be maintained. Because where we are in a position to sco close schools completely, a strike in the education sector also has an impact on employees in many other sectors whose children are not being looked after. By making teachers civil servants, Berlin is now sh ensuring that the portion, proportion of teachers who are allowed to strike according to the prevailing level opinion, legal opinion, is reduced. This is another way for a government to enforce minimum staffing levels. This is why the fight for civil servants' rights to strike is so important for the GEV. We send our solidarity greetings to the UK, where our colleagues from all over the country are now gathering to demonstrate in favor of the right to strike. It is a huge encouragement to us all that the British unions have announced that they will not be swayed by the legal reprisals against strikers that have been announced. We stand shoulder to shoulder with you in this fight. Hope, die, internationale Solidarität! Hope, die, internationale Solidarität!